My name is Patrick Robinson. I'm Director of Food and Nutrition here at Symphony of Chesterton and today I'll be teaching you how to make a heart healthy meal. Today we'll be preparing some Atlantic salmon. Um, here we have some dill, a little bit of paprika, uh, some lemon zest, some orange zest, some lime zest, and just a little bit of oil. We're going to place our salmon flush down in our pan. Now when you're preparing salmon, you want to make sure that you get a really good sear on both sides. Reason being, we're going to finish it off in the oven and you don't want it to get mushy and you don't want it to stick. We are going to sear the salmon about two minutes on each side. We'll finish it off in the oven for about four minutes. We just flipped our salmon over. It's got a little color on it. We're going to add in a little bit of white wine. Throw in a little bit of bone broth. And then we're going to let this finish off in the oven. It'll be about four minutes. And while that's going, we're going to get our risotto started. So now we're going to bring our risotto back. Typically when you make a risotto, you want to get your rice done ahead of time. It's a kind of a tricky starch. So the first thing we're going to do here is add in just a little bit of oil. Make sure we get it all around in our pan. We're going to throw in some tomatoes. You don't want the pan to be too hot when you're doing your tomatoes. You want them to still have their integrity, but you want to get, you want to cook them just a little bit. All right. We're going to add in our asparagus, just a couple of pieces. You don't want to overdo it. And we're going to lightly saute these. We don't want to saute them too much because you really want the integrity of the tomato still to be there, like I said before. And then we're going to add in a little bit of broth. Now this bone broth is going to slow down the cooking process, but it's also going to help your risotto come back. Reconstituting your risotto is key with this because it's very temperamental. It's probably one of the hardest rices to make, uh, arborio rice. So when you're reconstituting the arborio rice, you don't want to put in too much liquid, but you don't want to put in too less. Reason being it will easily burn. Once this comes up to a simmer, we are going to add in a little bit of pepper and we're going to add in our Parmesan cheese. Making this heart healthy means that you do not add in any salt whatsoever. Um, most of your salt is going to come from the Parmesan cheese, but also all of the vegetables have natural salts and sugars that come out of them all the time. Sauteing them actually brings out the natural sugars and the natural salts that are inside of them. Now we're going to add in a little bit of Parmesan, give it a stir. A little trick that I've learned is adding in just a touch of white wine, towards the end of course. All right, while we let that sit there and simmer for a little bit, I'm gonna grab our salmon, which has come out of the oven beautifully, and now we're ready to plate. Now that our dish is all plated, we're going to take a circle lemon wedge. We're going to cut it on a bias, place it there, and put some sprigs of dill. And there you are.